Robert has spent thousands of pounds making sure his business is COVID secure. But come the autumn, he might have to check if every customer has been vaccinated before he can let them in. It's extra cost and it's extra burden on a restaurant, especially on a small restaurant like ours, which is not on a high street and relies on uh, just on the local customers who are coming in, uh, in day in and day out. So it's going to be just extra expense and it's, uh, I think it's going to be a nightmare, to be honest with you. Government sources say COVID-19 certificates might be required before customers can enter bars, restaurants and nightclubs. A not-so-subtle warning to those mainly young people who've not yet been vaccinated. If it was something that was mandatory, it may cause me to change my lifestyle slightly. So, for example, maybe not eating at certain places. It's OK for travel, just to make sure that you have vaccines, but to go in the, in the restaurants, pubs, I think it's pointless. There has to be some kind of way that we all feel confident again to sit down and no longer be locked away like hamsters in a cage. But the organisation representing the hospitality industry says this will cost businesses even more at a time when they're trying to recover from the pandemic. You need two members of staff to man the door to check people's COVID status. And that simply means that businesses are unviable, even if they're trading at full capacity. So you are putting hospitality again into a situation where it's trading at a loss, it cannot break even, and it will push many businesses towards the edge of viability. The problem is, cases of COVID are rising. One in 160 people in England have the virus right now. That's a 60% increase in a week. Rising cases means more people will have to self-isolate. And for the NHS in particular, that could lead to staff shortages. The need for staff to be self-isolating is uh, adding to the pressures. But that the staff self-isolating means that there are work pressures and staffing pressures, but there are still more people coming through the doors than ever before. Despite all the talk about Freedom Day on July the 19th, when the majority of the remaining restrictions will be lifted, those in government and the scientists advising them know that this is far from over. Nick Martin, Sky News.